Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, yesterday we saw the major season three reloaded update go live. We saw a ton of changes included in that update. We saw a bunch of gameplay changes, an absolute ton of weapon tuning. Today, we got additional patch notes. We also have some slight secret changes that Raven has addressed. Lots to break down as we go through it all. If you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with all things going on in COD. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. But if we go ahead and we look at the Season 3 Reloaded Patch Notes page, obviously we have our launch notes, but we also have the update from today, May 26. So first up, there was apparently a new update to Ricochet, update to the PC kernel level driver detection system systems and server side security they don't go into detail about what was updated probably for the better that way any cheat developers don't get to see oh they changed this let's go and update that so we can bypass it again but ricochet has been updated in some capacity hopefully that means whenever you jump on next you'll run into less cheaters uh and over time less and less cheaters as well but when it comes to gameplay changes we actually saw one update go live here to the stims and this is interesting because as we talked about in yesterday's patch notes, they previewed an in-season nerf to the stim that would end up removing the ability to continue healing after you got shot if you popped a stim and then somebody shot you while you were healing. Obviously, a somewhat broken aspect of it. Uh, they also previewed a nerf to the slide speed. The stim slide, some players think it's very overpowered. Personally, I feel like it's more of a skill gap. I assume you could probably nerf it to a certain extent so that it's still there, but it's not as far or as prevalent. But uh, yesterday, post-update, when you got on, you probably noticed stims got obliterated. They nerfed them into the ground. It almost felt like when you would pop a stim and then try and slide, you'd slide, uh, you know, less far than you did before without just ever popping a stim. Like their basic slide was longer than the stim slide. So they broke the stims yesterday. It seems like today they have actually changed it. Uh, effects now removed when taking damage from weapon attack. So if you pop a stim and then while you're healing, you get shot, you will not continue to heal after that. You will stop where you're getting shot and lose health accordingly if you continue to get shot after that. So if you're going to pop a stim, you might want to make sure you're in cover. Otherwise, you might end up wasting it. And if you have restock, it's going to be another minute before you get that stim back. The slide speed was also now reduced by 40%. Hopefully now the slide speed is still there, but it's not nearly as broken as it was before. And it's not as broken as it was yesterday where they're basically was no slide and it was like you were running in quicksand or something also the max slide time was reduced from 1.9 seconds to 1.3 seconds so if you sort of coincide with maybe a downhill slope you could stim slide down a hill and travel very very far almost apex like that'll now be uh you know a little bit shorter as well so that ultimate slide length will be shorter because that slide won't be in effect as long now for bug fixes we also have several changes here they fixed collision issues with various elements across caldera so that's a patch note we constantly see like every time we do a patch notes video we've got collision issues being fixed that's like out of the map exploits and whatnot uh fixed an issue causing the fast travel tack map icons to not appear correctly in certain game modes fixed the rarity label on various blueprints calling cards and charms uh fixed an issue causing the h4 blixen to appear as the carl gustav m 45 so we just have one h4 blixen weapon now uh fix an issue causing the enhanced gris weapon blueprint to not have a gunsmith functionality fix an issue causing the three times reticle challenge to not uh, track correctly then also fix an issue causing the swap attachment options in the gunsmith menu to not show the correct stat changes uh we also have some other updates on the trello board we'll get to in just a bit that preview some other fixes that will be coming uh for weapons this is some interesting stuff the following changes actually went live with the initial release of season three reloaded so these were secret weapon changes yesterday I'm not gonna lie, I literally 10 minutes ago recorded a video on secret weapon changes that happened. These were included in that video, so that video is now obsolete. And we have the official patch notes on the Whitley. The minimum damage, so long range damage was increased by one. The max damage range was increased. The headshot multiplier was increased and the neck damage multiplier was increased. So the Whitley base weapon saw several buffs here to make it a bit more competitive. Uh, the British 45 round mag fire rate scaler was decreased. The damage penalty was actually removed and the velocity was increased to have less of a penalty. Um, on the 150 round boxes, ADS time scaler was increased. The velocity was increased and the damage range was increased. So a bit of a buff there. Then on the R4 stock, ADS time scaler increased and the horizontal recoil control was also increased so it'll be easier to use if you're using that stock then on the type 11 we saw some changes here too I can go ahead and zoom in a little bit as well uh the max damage was increased from 26 to 24. 
Now, this is a bit of an interesting change because max damage is close range. Minimum damage is your minimum damage range, which is long range on every single weapon or after that final drop off. For subs, it's like 30, 35, 40 meters. For rifles or LMGs, it could be 45, 50, 60, 70 meters. It just depends on the individual gun. Max damage, though, is where you're dealing the most damage, which obviously is up close for every single weapon. So now up close, the Type 11 LMG is going to be more powerful, which is interesting because how often are you using a Type 11 for close range fights? That seems like a buff that's not really going to help out in most situations, but it's there regardless, kind of strange. Uh, the Sakura 261, the velocity penalty was actually removed, so that'll be more effective now. The Shrouded Barrel velocity was increased by 10%, so that'll be even better for ranged fights. And then for the 352 Barrel damage range now increased by 10%, velocity increased by 20 percent so some decently significant changes on the type 11 to make that a little bit better uh but those are the secret changes like i said that went live yesterday that were not mentioned in the patch notes that we now have officially for some slight weapon changes nothing too crazy but type 11 and whitley will be a little bit more competitive now what we also have is the trello board which has some interesting changes on it if we go ahead and zoom in uh they haven't fully updated this with all the new playlists and everything yet we do have some xp events going on uh for playstation starting tomorrow we're gonna see some double xp for a day and then all weekend long from the 28th to the 31st it's going to be double xp for all players so uh, a little sneak peek as to what's going on this weekend but we're focused on the issues tab here uh they have updated this some we obviously have some issues uh that have stayed since season pre-season three reloaded i should say with the astraken skin stopping power causing players to hitch so if you're playing plunder or clash and you have stopping power on your class uh, i would take that off because it's going to cause your game to stutter and lag and hitch and it's just annoying the new issues though H4 Blixen, players will notice an input delay when attempting to fire the Blixen. So right now, the issue with this gun is that if you switch to it, if you have it as your secondary and you switch to it, you're not going to be able to shoot or ADS or do anything with it for two to three seconds. So as good as the H4 Blixen is, it's a very solid SMG, probably not worth using on your loadout until it gets fixed because it will cause you to die. If you go into a gunfight with your STG out and then you go to switch to your Blixen for close range, and suddenly you can't shoot it for three seconds and the enemies are spraying an Owen into you, you're probably going to get taken out there, right? So they are looking in to fix that. Uh, hopefully ASAP, once they do fix it, I'll let you guys know. Also, Sniper Rifle Charlie from Modern Warfare. This is the AX-50. Players will notice that the Sniper Rifle Charlie AX-50 has unintended behavior when firing. What they mean by that is that it is hit scan through 400 meters. If you remember back on Verdansk, the SPR had this bug where it was hit scanned through 400 meters, meaning exactly where your reticle is placed is where the bullet will go. It makes the gun incredibly, incredibly, incredibly overpowered, but clearly it was not intended. It's broken, so that's going to get fixed. And I believe what probably happened here is that the AX-50 was supposed to see a nerf for uh, a 5.1% decrease to velocity to make it slightly worse. That'll be reflected in our uh, new meta update video later today, but they might have made a typo and said instead of minus 5.1 plus 51 51 if i had to guess that's what happened and now the ax50 is hit scan i imagine that'll be fixed pretty quickly maybe end of day maybe tomorrow or early next week so if you want to take advantage of a very very good sniper setup right now the ax50 is the sniper you want to be using but they are looking into fixing those uh and again once that happens i'll be sure to let you guys know but that said that is the new surprise patch notes and secret weapon changes that went live post season three reloaded and also some of these fixes that raven uh, is working on here for the near future that's gonna wrap things up for today though hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you guys later peace out